Hey guys, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a wonderful and blessed day, no matter where you are in the world. I just wanted to share something with y'all about people being the same everywhere, good and bad people everywhere. I got my medication today, y'all, and it was on the steps when one of my son went for a walk when he came back. It was on the steps, y'all. It was misdelivered by the post office because we have streets that have one half on them. So just say uh, M and a half, that's our street. But it was delivered to Avenue M. It says on there Avenue M. Even though when I ordered it in the computer, it actually said M and in writing and one half. So instead of them printing it out, there's some glitch in the system, y'all, that they just insist on. It didn't make sense to the printer. <laughs> That's just how Galveston is, y'all. We have streets that have in one half. <laughs> N, N and a half. Q, Q and a half, R, R and a half. Crazy, you know. But that's the way it goes in a little tiny island town. My blue comedy strips was getting low. So they send them in the mail. So I'm going to have to call them on the phone. Ask them to correct the address again, even though I'm seeing it in the computer. So they can try to correct it. Because my neighbors are very nice. They bring my mail when it's misdelivered because everybody seems to know everybody in Galveston. The first time they may misdeliver your mail to the people's house, even though it have one half on it, and they accidentally open it or something, and they bring it to you. You know, they, they close it back, maybe make their kid opened it by accident or something. And who going to do something with Something that's not theirs, whether it be big fat shoes or whatever. Uh, they turn around and bring it to you. Even one time, a lady down, well, a couple of blocks up the street brought me a coffee maker. <laughs> yeah, she brought me my coffee maker and left it. I mean, she actually gave it to me. I was sitting on the porch, and she says, Are you such and such? Well, this is your coffee maker. They misdelivered it. <laughs> Amazon had already sent me another one and told me to just keep that one because they didn't want to worry about doing a refund. <laughs> they just say keep it. <laughs> and the other one was replaced, so... That's life, y'all. But that's why I love Galveston so much. Because of the people. That's why I tell y'all. That's how Gambia is, you know. The little tiny country in West Africa that reminds me of Galveston. It's always because of the people being so nice. And that's why I don't have no reason to be gone from Galveston permanently. <laughs> Because I know I couldn't replace these neighbors I have here. At least I'm praying they last my lifetime. <laughs> I'm selfish, y'all. <laughs> I want to keep good neighbors. You can't guarantee uh, new neighbors to be okay. Like they say, a, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. So anyway... Contrary to popular belief, they still have nice people in the United States as well. Whether you call it Babylon or not and want to go off somewhere to the unknown where the people can't even communicate with you. And you don't understand the culture or whatever. I go to the Gambia, interact with my own adopted family and friends over there. Look at the Food Forest Project. Say it is well, and then I come back home to my house here in Galveston, where I grew up, y'all. At seventy plus, the comforts of home, 
is right here in Galveston. Even though when I go back to the motherland, I get to have all kind of opportunities to bring things back with me, to remind me of being there and the beautiful people that's there as well. This one, that one, and for countless others. But anyway, just sharing with y'all that people are the same everywhere. Don't be afraid to go anywhere. Just make sure you make plans and don't go broke. <laughs> if you have networks that you created before you go, even better, even better. And have a purpose for your trip. At least I, I do, you know. But that's just me, y'all. <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.